What's up YouTube? Um, how are you guys doing? This is the Fragrance Dude coming up with another review for you guys. Today I'm going to talk about a pretty hyped up fragrance CH Men Privé by the house Carolina Herrera. CH Men Privé. Let's look at the, uh, the packaging or the presentation. I love the black and gold box. Um, really glossy black with uh, gold lettering. Let's see what we have inside. Look at this beautiful bottle. Um, I love the shape of the, the bottle. It's uh, This is sort of plastic on top with gold lettering. Um, the glass with some uh, with a almost like a um, light gray kind of uh, juice inside. But look at the cap. I love this flip top cap and um, although it seems a little flimsy it's pretty strong uh, I think there's been a lot of reviews uh, talking about how flimsy it might be but I'm not gonna throw it down I'm not gonna I'm not gonna abuse it if you will but uh, I just love the the, the 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 styling and the design uh, of the cap and look at the shape of the bottle it's shaped like a hip flask like a whiskey hip flask um, so I love the presentation, love the bottle, love the, the box. Now let's talk about the um, the uh, the juice itself. What does it smell like? Wow. It smells classy, a bit sensual, boozy, mellow, but at the same time really appealing. Love it. Oh look at this, look at this sprayer. Beautiful, beautiful. Hmm. I'll be right back with my thoughts. So let's talk about the the notes. Um, and the top note you've got um, grapefruit, lavender, sage, um, red theme, and cardamom. In the mid notes or the heart, you've got whiskey note. And in the base notes, you've got leather, you've got tonka, and you've got um, benzoin so overall I can I can smell the grapefruit for sure a little bit of lavender and then um, the the whiskey is already coming out so it's got a pretty it, when you spray it it, it kind of gives off an alcohol kind of um, smell but as it settles down in a few seconds you can, you can smell the grapefruit and the lavender. And after a while, I've kind of spread here about about 10 minutes ago. And I can al already smell the whiskey and the little bit of a leather um, cord. Love it. Uh, as, far as, um, as far as the age, uh, this is a more of a mature scent. So I would say anybody over... 30, 35 would be ideal for this kind of, although it doesn't matter, even the young kids can, can wear them if they can, if they can pull off um, a mature scent, you know, all the power to you. Um, as far as the weather, um, the climate goes, this would be great for um, a colder weather, definitely not for a hot um, weather kind of uh, situation. And um, as far as projection goes, um, I tried it over the last four days and um, the projection stays for about one or two hours. Uh, pretty good uh, subsides in the, in the in the third hour and and, uh, and then basically becomes a skin scent um, the longevity is is pretty good uh, on some days I got about six hours on some days I got about eight hours uh, so um, you know you can say eight six to eight hours on my skin obviously every everybody's different and everybody's skin is different um, so you know take that with a grain of salt um, as far as sillage goes, uh, there is a, a decent sillage, um, not a not a, uh, a beast by any means. It's it's more of a um, you know a, a low sillage kind of a scent. The sillage is is pretty active in the first two one or two hours, but afterwards it's kind of you know dies on. It's more of a skin scent. So uh, for situations, I think it would be great for uh, casual, um, but dressy casual um, work. 
is I think you can you can pull it off at work. Uh, but it would be great for a night out. Uh, it would be great for a date. Uh, very classy, uh, very mellow, but at the, at the bit, uh, also a bit sensual. So um, beautiful, beautiful um, offering. Uh, this is a flanker of the original CH Men by Carolina Herrera. And um, so this is a, a great one. Uh, definitely should try it out. Um, but it, this is, again, I would say not for everyone. You would really want to try out a sample first. Um, because uh, the first couple times I wore it, I had I had different. I was trying out different perfumes and, and different locations on my hand, and um, I, I really couldn't smell this. The every everything else was kind of overpowering uh, it. So uh, stuff like uh, you know, Versace Eros or uh, Invictus, uh, those are beasts. And um, this is uh, more of a mellow, more of a personal kind of uh, perfume. Um, so wh when I started wearing it uh, with three or four sprays on, on either wrist and then uh, uh, behind my ear here on both sides. That's when I really kind of started feeling the, the perfume. So again, a, a great offering and uh, definitely a must try. So uh, overall rating, um, I think I would say this is a 7.5 for me. Uh, it's it's relatively cheaply available. It's not uh, like a hundred bucks. It's, it's um, if you look on online websites, you can find it for about uh, 50 to 60, 65 bucks uh, for a 100 ml uh, bottle. And um, uh, this is a this is a classy scent, so definitely uh, a niche kind of worthy, uh, if you will. Uh, but that, but at the same time, very affordable. So uh, it doesn't last very long. It, it's not a beast. Um, uh, so in performance category, it kind of loses some uh, some marks, but uh, overall a great sense of so 7.5. Uh, that's a pretty good uh, score. Thanks for watching and see you uh, in my next review. See you later.